So are any of these, uh, well, actually, let's start with this. What's a bioregulator? Like, what's an example of one of those? Yeah, so a bioregulator, I think most people have heard of peptides, but mm. insul insulin's a peptide that was made like 100 years ago. It's a signal to your body to say, hey, lower blood sugar and move, mobilize it outside of the blood into the cells. And so there's different peptides now that can help with energy, weight loss. Like, obviously, there's Ozempic, which became really popular. But bioregulators are a similar type of signal, except they're a signal to an organ. So instead of being for like a specific function, it's a specific organ. So what they do is they basically upregulate the function of an organ. So for example, there's bioregulators for the pancreas. There's bioregulators for muscle. There's bioregulators for your skin. There's bioregulators for your thymus gland. And what the bioregulator is doing, it's upregulating or promoting the function of that organ because you may have some chronic low-grade dysfunction of that organ, meaning it's not